Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Art with Mrs. R. I am so looking forward to summer and all the fun things that come with it. And when I think of summer, I think of sunny, hot days, days at the beach, barbecuing, being outside with your family. But I also think about something that's a really nice treat to have in the summertime, and that is ice cream. Ice cream is super fun on a hot and sum hot summer day. So today we're going to draw a picture of an ice cream cone. So what we're going to need is obviously our paper, our pencil, our sharpie, and pink, orange, green, and blue. Not that many colors today for our ice cream cone. So go ahead and grab those supplies and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull those crayons out of the way and our marker, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pencil, and let's go ahead and get started. So you're gonna have your picture portrait, which is the long way up and down. And so we're gonna find the center of our page, and you know how you do that. Put your hand just right in the middle, and then right about where your middle finger attaches is where the center of the page will be. Okay, so we're gonna start by making some lines. We're gonna draw one line across like this, and then we're going to have two lines coming down from it. So let me get a closer up picture so you can see what I'm doing. And then just go straight across like that. This is going to be the top part of our ice cream cone. Okay. Then you're going to come down on the sides just like this. Two straight lines. And then go ahead and go across the middle like that. And then you're going to come down like this with two smaller lines and connect them straight across like that. And then we're gonna come straight down, kind of at an angle, because you know how the, the ice cream, uh, the ice cone, the cups that they put the, the ice cream cones, or the ice cream in the ice cream cones, my goodness, and draw a line across the bottom, they kind of come down and get a little skinnier. All right, so now, we're going to draw a line across the bottom like that and draw these lines that come down like this. So sometimes you have um, sugar cones or waffle cones, but a lot of the time you'll get your ice cream in these crunchy yellow cones, which are really kind of the normal cone that you'll get. All right, and then we're going to, after we have our cone set, we're going to put our ice cream in here. So we're going to start here at the bottom by making these big bumpy things that come up. We're going to make a gigantic ice cream cone with a little thing at the top like that. You know, when you, when you get to do your own ice cream cone, it gets that little loopy part where you turn off the machine. Okay, we're going to come down just like that. All right, so what we're going to do now is after we have our ice cream in our ice cream cone, we are going to start making layers coming across. So we're going to go like this and try to connect some of these lines across here like this. So just go ahead and let the lines find a partner to connect with. And that's going to be the layers of our ice cream. Now, you know that two flavors of ice cream is always better than one. So we're gonna call this a swirl ice cream. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down like this in each one of the layers, because we have swirled two flavors together, which is always the best, right? And then come down like that, and come down like that, okay. Now, of course, our ice cream cannot be floating in the air, so we're gonna put the ground like this. Okay, and at this point, guys, we just are gonna trace our Sharpie lines. All right, so if you still need more time to draw your picture back up a little bit, then go ahead and press pause now, or you can feel free to um, rewind and see that all again and go along with the steps if you feel like you need a little bit more time. So I'm just going to go ahead, go through, and trace all my Sharpie lines that I made. And just go around like that. So 
So the next thing we'll have to decide after this is what flavor are you going to make your two kinds of ice cream? I was thinking one layer would be vanilla and then the other layer could be like a strawberry. But if you want like a chocolate and vanilla, you could also do that too. It kind of just depends on what is your favorite kind of ice cream. Some people, like my husband, he only likes vanilla. Isn't that crazy? With all the flavors of ice cream, I always ask him like, and you want to get vanilla? And he's like, yeah, it's my favorite. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever your favorite is, that's fine. I like chocolate, I like strawberry, I actually like everything, but for soft serve ice cream like this, chocolate is usually my favorite or strawberry. Okay, so after you go ahead and um, I went ahead and did all my Sharpie lines and I'm gonna go through and erase my pencil lines because I no longer need those. So I'm gonna go like this. Go through here and erase like that. Get all the eraser marks off, of course. Gonna brush those all to the side. Make sure you got all your pencil marks away. I see a few I missed, so I'm gonna go in here and clean that up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my pink and I'm gonna go and fill in the one side that is my strawberry which is usually pink right now if you wanted this to be chocolate you could use brown of course and then the other side will be vanilla which is usually you get vanilla with whatever other flavor that you swirl it with right okay so i'm gonna go ahead do that And there's that. And then the other side would just be left white. And then I'm gonna color in my cone, yellow. Now you could even do like a vanilla, or I mean not a vanilla, but strawberry and chocolate, or you could do like, I don't know, like there's so many different kinds, depends on where you go, but lots of different flavors. I'm just keeping it simple today. I do have to say though that probably chocolate's my favorite. Then I thought it kind of look cool with pink for strawberry, so I kind of went with that. Okay, so now I am going to color the bottom down here with my green. So I'm gonna plot my scratch paper again. I've written all, drawn all over it, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the bottom part here green. And let's make my screen a little bigger and back up now so you can see what I'm doing. Just something about ice cream and summertime and going to the park and playing and all those fun things, fun memories from childhood. I hope you get to make some of those memories too. It's just something about summertime and ice cream, which is funny to think about because ice cream in the 1700s, which was like 300 years ago, used to be something that only the very, very wealthy would have, ice cream, because it was difficult to make and um, it just was a very expensive luxury that only the extremely wealthy could afford to have ice cream. Isn't that funny? Because nowadays ice cream's everywhere. You can go to any grocery store and pick up a half gallon of ice cream and we have so many flavors and it's pretty affordable. But there was a time where um, a scoop of ice cream would cost the equivalent in today's money of like $80. Which, can you imagine paying $80 for a scoop of ice cream? That would be so crazy, right? Um, but people that were very wealthy 300 years ago wanted ice cream. 
golly, they would pay it. Crazy, huh? Okay, so let's add some blue to our background and make our ice cream stand out and look very colorful. So let's go like this. Color this all in like that. Well, my crayon, blue and green are my two colors that seem to get used the most these days. Let's see. So, curious what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Like, I know this is soft serve ice cream, which is the kind that comes out of a machine, but also, like, um, there's soft serve ice cream like this, but then there's the kind that you have to scoop. And um, of course they have lots and lots of flavors for that kind of ice cream. So when I was a kid, my favorite was chocolate chip mint. That was like the go-to flavor for me. Like chocolate chip mint was like, ugh, it was like the best. And I remember as a kid, we would go to the mall, Vancouver mall, which you guys probably have been there, right? And there was a Baskin Robbins ice cream down in the bottom level, different where, from where it's at now. It's still there now, but um, different location in the mall. And we would go in there, go shopping at the mall with our mom or whatever we were doing, and we would get chocolate chip mint ice cream. Oh my goodness, it was such a treat. It was the best ever. So I remember that. So, know if you guys ever get to pick out your favorite flavor of ice cream but just kind of fun and there's so many fun places to get ice cream nowadays uh, in Portland you have to kind of drive a ways but there's ice cream shops around in Vancouver too so I have my picture upside down I know it looks funny upside down I'm just doing that to color it makes it a little easier to color on this side of the page so I'm rolling up my crayon. I'm going to go really carefully along these edges here because I don't want my pink ice cream to turn into blue ice cream. Although blue ice cream, I mean, I guess it could be blueberry flavored, which would probably be good. What's that flavor they have a lot, a lot of kids like is blue raspberry which I've never actually seen a blue raspberry, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but if you find one, let me know. I have yet to see one, but it's a flavor, blue raspberry. Okay, so almost got this side done. So, okay, putting these little spots in that are still white. All right then, so there we go. Mrs. R's version of a, an ice cream cone, a summer ice cream cone, and it's kind of tilted off to the side a little bit because it was so gigantic and tall and you know, in the summertime it's hot and it melty, so you have to eat it really quick before it makes a huge mess. You guys know, sometimes when you get those giant tall ice cream cones, you gotta eat them super quick because it's they'll melt and make a huge mess. So this is what this is. So um, snap a picture of your giant ice cream cone and put it into Seesaw so I can see it. I'm sure I can't wait to see what kind of flavors you guys come up with. And so, um, I am just excited to see what you guys have created. So make sure and post that. All right, everybody. I wish you guys all a great day. Bye.